Welcome to my channel, American Repo. Subscribe to my channel for news updates all around the world. Let's dive in. In March 2025, the long-standing partnership between Microsoft and Huawei officially ended. For years, Huawei's MateBook laptops shipped with Windows, letting them compete with Dell, HP, and Apple. But now, Huawei's license to pre-install Windows has expired and wasn't renewed. This wasn't a mutual decision, but a result of external pressures. Huawei executives, including Yu Cheng Dong, confirmed that future Huawei PCs will not run Windows. This marks a major turning point for both Huawei and the global tech landscape. It's not just a software swap, it's a fundamental change to Huawei's PC identity. For many consumers, especially in the West, a laptop without Windows is a very different proposition. The split divides Huawei's PC division into two eras, the Windows era, and the new Harmony OS era. On May 8, 2025, Huawei unveiled its first laptops running Harmony OS, making this new reality official. Microsoft loses a major hardware partner while Huawei embarks on one of the boldest pivots in tech history. The age of Windows-powered MateBooks is over, the Harmony OS PC era has begun. To understand why Microsoft had to cut ties with Huawei, we need to look at geopolitics, Huawei has been on the U.S. entity list for years, restricting American companies from doing business with it without a special license. The official reason, national security concerns, and alleged ties to the Chinese government. This is why Huawei's phones lost Google services, and now, why its PCs lost Windows. Microsoft, as a U.S. company, was bound by these regulations. The license that allowed Huawei to use Windows was a temporary exemption, but as tensions persisted, renewal became impossible. This is a clear example of how politics and technology are now deeply intertwined. Decisions in Washington directly dictate what software can run on a laptop made in China. So, this isn't just a business dispute, it's about international trade policy and national security. Microsoft's hands were tied, Huawei was forced to act. Cut off from American software, Huawei accelerated its own alternatives. This move is now reshaping the software landscape. A parallel technological ecosystem is emerging. Losing Windows didn't end Huawei's PC ambitions, it accelerated them. Huawei shifted its entire laptop and desktop line to its own operating system, Harmony OS. Harmony OS or Hongmeng in China has powered Huawei's phones, tablets, and smart devices since the Android ban. The Vision, a unified OS for all devices, like Apple's ecosystem. Harmony OS was first unveiled in 2019, designed to be flexible and scalable. By bringing Harmony OS to laptops, Huawei is making that unified ecosystem a reality. The first Harmony OS PC was unveiled in May 2025, with earlier previews showing AI-powered machines using Huawei's own Kunpeng processors. This dual strategy, owning both software and hardware, reduces dependence on US tech. It's a bold declaration of technological independence. Building a new OS is tough, but Huawei is betting on its massive user base and brand power. The Harmony OS PC is the centerpiece of this ambitious new strategy. Let's break down what an operating system is. It's the core software that manages your computer's memory, processes, and lets you interact with your device. Without an OS, your laptop is just hardware, it can't do anything useful. Windows was built for powerful PCs, excelling at running resource-intensive desktop apps. Its strength is its legacy and vast software library. Harmony OS in contrast was born in the mobile era, its design is about connecting multiple devices seamlessly. A distributed architecture. You can start a task on your phone and finish it on your Harmony OS laptop. Harmony OS is lightweight, flexible, and runs on everything from sensors to TVs. The latest version, Harmony OS Next, is fully independent, no longer based on Android. For users it feels more like a mobile OS on desktop, with a focus on apps, notifications, and device connectivity. It's a stark contrast to Windows' traditional file-based approach. What do you get with a Harmony OS PC? Instead of Microsoft Office, you get WPS Office, a strong alternative, fully compatible with Office file formats. The system is loaded with apps tailored for the Chinese market, like DingTalk for business and Huawei's AI assistant, Celia. Harmony OS PCs 
can run thousands of mobile apps natively, blurring the line between phone and laptop. Hardware-wise, Huawei is pushing its own Kunpeng CPUs, aiming for Apple-like integration of hardware and software. This vertical integration boosts performance and efficiency. For those not ready to switch, Huawei also offers a Linux-based Matebook D16, giving developers and power users another option. This multi-pronged approach helps Huawei maintain its PC presence. The Harmony OS PC is designed for deep integration and flexibility. It's a bold step into a new computing era. Harmony OS's strength is its massive ecosystem. By late 2024, it was running on over 900 million devices, phones, tablets, watches, and more. Huawei's goal, surpass a billion active devices, creating a user base unmatched by any non-American OS. In China, Huawei has already overtaken Apple in smartphone market share. For millions, a Harmony OS laptop is a natural extension of their phone. Features like multi-screen collaboration let users mirror their phone on their laptop, answer calls, and drag files between devices. The strategy, make the Huawei ecosystem so seamless that switching is irresistible. But global expansion is tough. Outside China, Harmony OS adoption is limited. The lack of Google services and Windows app support are major hurdles abroad. The global PC market is still dominated by Windows. Huawei's billion device goal will likely be achieved mostly within China. Huawei's shift is more than a product launch, it's a step toward a parallel tech sphere. China is formalizing its own self-reliant alternative to US tech. Harmony OS PCs are part of China's strategy to reduce foreign tech dependence. Government agencies and state enterprises will likely be early adopters ensuring a stable customer base. This could push other Chinese PC makers to adopt domestic OS alternatives, fragmenting Microsoft's market share. Globally, this risks a new digital divide software for the global ecosystem versus the Chinese ecosystem. International companies may need to develop Harmony OS versions of their apps, adding complexity. For consumers, a laptop in Beijing could have very different capabilities than one in London. Huawei's challenge bridging this divide, especially in Western markets where Windows apps are essential, without full compatibility, Huawei's PC sales may remain mostly in China. Huawei's move sends shockwaves through the tech industry. For Microsoft, it means losing a major hardware partner and market share in China. It sets a precedent. If Huawei can build a viable alternative, others might try too. For Google, it's a continuation of losing influence in China. Harmony OS is now a full-stack alternative. Apple faces a new integrated competitor in China, challenging its dominance. Chinese consumers now have two premium, vertically integrated ecosystems to choose from. This could intensify competition and pressure Apple's sales in China. For other hardware makers, it's a warning. Relying on US software is risky in a world of trade tensions. If Huawei succeeds, others may invest in their own OS, or support alternatives like Linux. The era of assuming perpetual access to US software is over. The Microsoft Huawei split marks the end of an era of globalized consumer tech. The digital world is splintering along national lines and this is a prime example. Technology is now a central arena in global competition, not a neutral ground. The idea of a single, open, global market is fading. Politics and security now dictate what's available. For consumers, this means less choice and more complexity as ecosystems diverge. The big question. Can Harmony OS become a global third player? Or will it remain a regional champion? Its success in China is likely, but breaking into international markets will be tough. Without a killer feature, most users outside China will stick with Windows or Mac OS. This is the most significant challenge to Microsoft's dominance in decades and a sign of China's tech ambitions. The tech landscape of tomorrow will look very different from the one we knew yesterday.